so it's late night and I got this whole one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen doors of ice cream that's running like that. All running warm. I checked a minute ago. I got no airflow flow. No airflow in any of these doors except these two. And I got barely any there. Get one of these open. You can see I got a wall of ice back there. And that's gonna be true all the way down the aisle. Actual first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cycle it in the defrost and see if defrost works. Because defrost might not be working. Stand false, stand false. Stand false. So, go top here. Top, top, top. Go to service. Go to defrost. Oh, hell. This should have an option for service and not just the option for supervisor. So I'm locked out. Even though I'm locked out, I try my password, the one that I usually use, and it's not working. So since I got password screwed, and this is how I'm manually energizing my defrost. That one's gonna be for A1. Yeah. So now I'm defrosting both of my A1 and A2 circuits. Here's what I'm looking at. So I got A1, which is part of that ice cream case, and then A2. A1, you know, when I energize it, it goes, you know, you can hear that, but A2 doesn't do that. I've got them bypassed here or switched over. I later learned that this was not a good idea because six of my eight compressors went into thermal overload. This don't seem right. Why would my A1 with only five doors be bigger than my A2 that has 10 doors? Well, I closed those ones because I got this arrow here. It comes back to the liquid line. So it seems like hot gas should come back through that and back up the liquid line. So that's why I left the, the valve over there open at the header. But see, it's still not melting. Neither is this one. As I sit here on the floor, I see frost on the top up there and also right there. I mean, these things are freaking chock full of ice cream, dude. Like, ugh. They're like packed. They like leave no room for space in here. So what I ended up doing on this job was I came back. Um, it, it, this was a Saturday night, Sunday morning. So I came back Monday morning with a rebuild kit for the hot gas valve solenoid. Uh, because when I turned the manual stem in on that solenoid valve, 
I could actually, that's when I heard the gushing sound of the, of the hot gas going through and then that defrosted my cases. So in doing that, uh, you know, that's going to resolve the issue for this one. So you you can get the rebuild kits for these big, this was an inch and an eighth diameter, um, hot gas line. It had the solenoid on it to energize it, uh, for hot gas defrost. So instead of, you know, unsweating it, you can get the rebuild kits from United. They're, they're like awfully expensive but whatever um it's better than buying the whole thing and, and, and unsweating it but um if you made it this far i appreciate you watching very much very much um like and subscribe to the channel thank you and um hit the bell so you get notifications anytime i make a video uh and have a great day